Okay, so now I've got all of my parts traced. I'm about ready to send it over to my Cricut Inkspace program. But before I do that, I want to do a little spacing and one more, than, more important part that I need to talk about. So when I imported this drawing in the PDF, when I downloaded it, the PDF kept the proper size and space for all the parts. When I copied it from the PDF to Inkscape, it maintained that same proper size. Unfortunately, when I saved the SVG file from here and then opened it up in Design Space, it's not going to maintain that proper sizing. It could open it up to some random size and spacing. So something that's very important I do on all my drawings is I create something like this little box. It's just a little square. This square is one inch on a side. That way, when this is brought into the Design Space program, I can size that box down to one inch, and I know all of my parts will be the proper size and spacing. It's always important to have some kind of reference point on your drawings that you can use when you're in Design Space. Now, the other thing is, I'm going to be using two 12 inch by 3 inch by 1 16th Balsha sheets. One for this set of parts, one for this set of parts. Okay, I'm going to interrupt the video here real quick. I had gone through a long involved process on how I was going to get this top 3 by 12 sheet one inch apart from this bottom 3 by 12 sheet. I did a bunch of measuring across here, then from the top here down the top of that one, then all the way across to get seven inches, and it was real convoluted. Then after I did all that video, I realized there's a much simpler way of doing it. So I'm just going to interject here how I'm going to do that. You notice on the left side, I have my ruler. So the easiest way to make sure I have the one inch spacing between the two sheets is I select this one and I line it up to where it's between the 0 and 3. Then I select my lower one and I bring it over here to where it's in between the 4 and the 7. And I know I now have one inch of spacing between the two of them. And they may not exactly line up here but I don't care because I'm gonna have a little bit more than 12 inches anyway when I do my cut. And just so you can get a little clearer view, I'm going to remove the PDF and you can see my two sheets. And those are going to fit well onto my pad. Okay, back to the video. And I'm now ready to send these over to Design Space. Well, one more thing I want to do. So on these balsa sheets, the grain of the balsa sheets goes this way. It's 3 inches by 12 inches. When the Cricut cutter cuts it, it actually cuts it in a vertical. So I'm going to have to rotate all of this by 90 degrees. So I will draw a box around all of them. And you see it sees it as two different files. I'll go to Object. And I know you can't see this, but I will select group. Now it's just one whole group of objects. And I will rotate it 90 degrees. And now I'll be ready to send that off. Next thing you'd have to do is open up our Cricut Design Space program. So I'll swap over there. So here is my Cricut Design Space program. And I'm going to come over here and say New Project. It opens up my canvas. I can go over to my left and say Upload. You can see I did an earlier one, but we're going to just upload it again. 
So upload image. I'm going to browse. And we're going to use a file we saved called Eranka Champ Tutorial. And you can say, see this is an SVG file. And I have no idea what this means, so we'll continue. And you can see now I have these vertical files. So I'm going to come to the bottom right and say, yep, upload that. And now I have it. So what I'll do is I will highlight that. Come down here and say, add to canvas. And it shows up. And it looks like it is just about the right size. So we were lucky when it copied over close to direct. So I said I was going to have two three inch files. And yeah, it looks just about right. And you remember I said I had this reference box. I'll look up here on the right, and you can see that every one of these shapes that we drew is now represented over here. And I can look and see the size of each of those. So I will look at that box I created right here, click on it, and it is almost right at one inch, 1.009. That's close enough for government work. If I wanted to change that size, I could change the whole thing. But we'll just leave it where it was at. Because basically, I don't think I'd be able to get closer to one inch than it already is. So now I know I have the file that I want, but if I just said make it here in the upper right, actually we'll go ahead and do it, I'll show you. Click on make it, and now it just throws things everywhere. It, it doesn't save what we had done. So we're going to have to go back and start over again from that point. So we're back to where we were before. And when I lay this out on the sheet, I'm going to have one three inch. And I don't try and go all the way here because if I show this, it'll be right on the edge. But I'm not sure when I set my sheets in there how close I'm going to be. So I do one inch on the one inch and then one inch in between. And that should work out well for us. That, I've done that before. It works out great. But as I said, we have all these that will be cut individually. And I want it all to be nice and compact the way I have it on my screen. So to keep it from just spreading out, I come to the bottom right, you see weld, attach, and flatten. We're going to use attach. And now all these are locked into place. You can see the things that were white are now red. So we'll come over here to make it in the upper right. And Okay, so now it's moving everything over into the mat. It must not like all those individual parts, so it's taking a while. Okay, so this shows me what's going to look like on the mat. You'll notice that it's offset now from where I have before. I can move this around, but I can't get all the way to that corner. So this is why I start from the one inch position. You can see I 
I have one through four, then five through eight. And 12, I'll actually cut my sheets a little bit longer anyway. And now it's ready to go. And I hit continue. And now it's telling me to hook up my Cricut Mix machine to the computer. So once we have the Cricut machine turned on, we will select our materials. We will browse all materials. And all the way towards the bottom, you'll find balsa 1 16th inch. Then come down to the bottom and say done. Then it says make sure you use a knife blade, which you do have. And then press the load. And just a little intermediate step to show you that is in the second cut of four and it tells you the remaining time of 38 minutes. So you know you can get up and go have a snack or something. <laughs> 